guys. So this would be my fourth video of my Still Susie's Diary. And we're looking at week five since I was diagnosed with adult onset Still's disease. So I figured what we'd do is every week we'd start the video off talking about how my metatrexate medication for Still's disease is affecting me. Um, so some of my symptoms are I still have numbness in my arms when I wake up and it's kind of like clockwork so in the afternoon sometimes it'll happen around like three or four it's kind of great that I I know when it's gonna happen but at the same time I'm just sort of peeved off that it's happening <laughs> um, I also have really sensitive teeth like like just my front teeth um, it's been a couple weeks now but I've just kind of gotten used to the weird sharp pain and I've bought in like three different types of Sensodyne and I keep like brushing my teeth like three times fucking daily and it's just not working. Like nothing's getting rid of that sensitivity. So I'm pretty sure it has to do with the medication. I also get exhausted really fast, which I'm not used to. I mean, yesterday I reorganized my room and cleaned a little bit and it took me forever. I'm also receiving a lot of like headaches and stuff receiving funny word I'm receiving these headaches and I have a lot of headaches <laughs> which I'm using Tylenol to kind of combat with my prednisone medication as you may notice my face is still getting fatter and I don't care what you guys say it's definitely getting fatter which means I'm gaining weight which really sucks but I won't be on prednisone forever so it's not like this weight gain is going to be forever. It also causes like wicked insomnia, but you guys know that from my last couple videos. While you talk about symptoms, you also have to kind of talk about what you're doing to combat those symptoms and what I'm doing to help myself get past all of this like arm numbness and the headaches and the insomnia. Um, so one of the things that I do use is cannabis. Um, one of my favorite strains recently, actually just lately, is a higher CBD than a THC cannabis. Um, it's called Harlequin. So this is the Harlequin. It's a very fresh, earthy, light, airy sort of taste in marijuana. And it doesn't get you like completely just you know what I mean? I get exhausted really, really fast. I mean, yesterday I did a little bit of rearranging my room around and cleaning and I just, I kept having to take multiple breaks, which I'm not used to. I also get these like really bad headaches. I'm assuming they're just the fevers of the Stills disease trying to break through, which is completely fine. I usually have to use Tylenol to combat it. Basic. Another thing I do to combat my symptoms of insomnia is recently I've started watching ASMR videos. Now, what ASMR is, is it's basically like uh, sounds and movements and uh, what people call triggers in order to help you relax and calm down maybe from an anxiety attack or things like that. Um, personally, it helps me immensely because when I can't sleep, I just, I'm awake till two or three in the morning. What helps me with the ASMR videos is just listening to a soft voice, just talk to me and, and to be honest, making those and the sound of their nails tapping and for some reason, my body just finds it extremely calming. If you find that you have anxiety or insomnia or anything like that, I would highly suggest checking out these few channels. Now, these are my favorite channels. There's ASMR Humble. She's a lovely girl from Australia. There is Tina ASMR. That's T-E-N-A. Um, she has probably one of my most favorite like amount of videos for uh, role-playing ASMR where she talks to you about spa stuff which for me for some reason is really calming 
Another one of my favorite uh, ASMR artists would be Mads ASMR, M-A-D-S space ASMR. Um, of course, I'll have all of their links up in my description if you guys do want to check their channels out. In my life recently, just to get you guys up to date, unfortunately, I was rejected for adult health benefits. It's a program that's going to help me pay for my medication and things like that. Sorry, I, I just like check the fluffy thing. Okay, Tasha Watts. And then... Not approved. Not approved, unfortunately. So I did get this uh, letter from my rheumatologist that's confirming I cannot, um, I cannot work. So I'm just going to blank out this actual address. So the rheumatologist. So if you guys got a quick glance at that, um, been diagnosed with Stills disease and it can take up to several months for them to figure out whether or not this medication can actually work. So for school, I only have basically one month left. Uh, I have to finish one computer course at school and then as soon as my background check comes clean, I can go work at the CBE school board at my old high school, which I am super excited about. I get to work in the culinary arts program. I'll get to help other students learn the passions of cooking and exploring their abilities to create, which I am super excited to do. Something I want to talk about is my fundraiser. So there is a fundraiser that's been going on Facebook. Um, I am going to change it directly to my PayPal so you guys can just send me the donations directly to my account rather than having Facebook take their percentage off. What your money would go towards is helping me finish this last month of school. It would be going towards my personal finances because unfortunately while I am in school I cannot have any government assistance because they think you know a couple thousand dollars for a year of school is enough to, to live off of, right? You guys know how I feel. It'll also help fund my YouTube channel to have the better equipment so I can make these channels and then maybe eventually just the channel. Donate $100 or more. There is still a promotion going on where you get a free Stills Disease canvas. Now it'll look similar to this with a background, um, just not this size. It'll probably be about, about that size. One of the last things I wanted to talk about in my video today was some of the photography I've been doing lately. Now it is a goal to produce as many as one to two shoots a month. Um, so I do have a future April shoot coming up. So stay tuned on all my social media to see what that's about. I do want to thank again the wonderful photographers and makeup artists and the location that we had my last shoot at. So shout out to Gabby V, um, also Bailey, our makeup artist, and the location we shot at was Kane's Harley Diner. And let me tell you right now, their food is absolutely fantastic. If you're in the Calgary area, I highly recommend that you check it out. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram too. All of the links are going to be in the description.